travel blow. Don't even try it, okay? Don't dare me, okay? I ain't going to fix your car. Are we clear? Right? So the all of a sudden, the change. Now, why did the change cause the failure? Now, this is the uh, Because force is equal to what? Man strikes what? You change direction, you have what? Acceleration in a reverse direction. That would be a very good 2 q four question. Okay? Right? So there, there is. <laughs> it's go crazy. Okay? Now. So let's look at the formula for shear. Okay? So the shear stress. Can be caused by what? By torque. Okay, now torque and bending moment are not the same thing. Okay, don't even challenge me. Are we clear? Okay, if anyone say the same thing, I will have an issue. Already, spelling is different. So we know that the formula is how. Is equal to TR divided by what? J. Right? T is our torque. So torque over here can be in Newton meter or pound inch. R can be the radius. And it can be meters or in inch. J is polar second. A okay. polar second moment of area, and it is in a meter four or inches to power of what four. Now, if we equation, they don't do the equation. Mm, okay. Right? You 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 don't get nothing. Don't do that. Don't be like me. Okay, so not observe it. Right? So what we do now, I'm going to sketch the transformation over here. Okay, so I'm going to call this my X. This will be my Y. Okay, so X and then this will be my Z. Okay. Right hand rule, right? Okay. So from here, no, 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 sorry. I, I'm going to change. I, I, I beg your pardon. I don't do it. Uh, can you? My, my bad. My bad. So this is X. This is Y. This is Z. Okay. Now. If we now were to view this now, write this transformation. If we were to view this now, And our orientation now is Z and Y. So by viewing that, we have our what? This is our cross section. And this is our axis. And over here, at the top, this is our element H. Now, based on the equation that we have, okay, so based on the equation that we have, I know it's kind of late to do something like this, okay? So if this is our shear stress, Okay. And this is our radius. So what we see for now, okay? We see this. For now, this is just a trend.
So what it means that tell max or tell xy max occurs when r is at the what? At the maximum. And this shear space is always going to be what? That means. Okay. Now, the next thing we are going to consider now, okay, let's leave out the portion and consider the shear force. Okay. So, if you look at the shear force, so shear stress. Induced by the shear force. The formula is called tau is equal to VQ over IT, where V is the shear force, Q is the first moment of area so this is a newton or pounds this is a meter cube or inches cube and then you have i the second moment of area meter four inches four and t correspond to the thickness okay so this is in meters uh is in uh meters or in inches okay so when you look at use this formula right what you get is this So again, this is your normal stress. Oh no, this is your shear stress. And this is your radius. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put my circle. I'm going to move this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to dump it here. So for this case, what you see is this. At this point, this is your what? How max? Some of you are learning this now. The doctor totally scared for you the distribution yet. Right? That's what you see. Okay. Then next comes to our normal stress. Okay, let me sketch the normal stresses. Okay. Induce by extra force and bending moment. Okay, so we have normal stress is equal to P over A. So let's say we say PX over A plus by MY over IYY multiplied by Z plus by mz over izz multiplied by y. Over here, this is due to axial force. And over here is due to what? Bending moment. Now, this is a complete formula. Sometimes px can be equal to what? 
for this case, our Px is equal to 1. So now the thing is this. How does this distribution look like? Right? How does this distribution look like? So this is just a sketch. Okay. So if I'm going to Okay. Okay. So if I'm going to do this, so now this is my normal stress, and then this over here will be my shearing stress. No, uh, not not shearing stress. My 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 Y or my Z. Okay. So what we tend to see, we tend to see this trend. We're going to call a point element H over here. I'm going to call here element K. It will be easier when we start doing the calculation because some things will cancel off. Okay. I know those of you who are not in mechanical engineering or manufacturing engineering, you will not know how to do BQ over IT. Okay, so we don't consider that. Okay, we're not here for any drive. Okay, because that is one of the most complex forms in structure analysis. Okay, some of you have taken my course in 3A and say, yeah, you should come forget it at all. Have you taken my 3A before? Yeah, so it looks for me. Yeah. So you're not in society, or are you? You are. I'm going to see now. So we know. Right? So what is the problem now? If you look at the, the top, the shear stress is maximum when the radius is the what? The figure. Yes or no? The shear stress is maximum when radius. So at the top circle, element H sees the maximum shear stress due to what? Portion. Now if you look at shear stress due to the shear force, maximum stress occurred where? At element K. Element H due to the shear force, the shear stress is equal to what? Zero. And then the worst thing to the worst that could happen is the what? The bending moment, the maximum is further distance from where? From zero, which is at the what? At the outer diameter. Okay. Is there? Uh, sketch. Okay. The, the, the orientation of here is like just sketches to show to you that the maximum amplitude is further away from the center. Uh, All right. So this is this is where the problem comes. What are we going to use? Okay. What are we going to use? Some of you might say, time to buy a software. No. Okay. Time to buy the software. No. You're not going to buy any software. You're going to do it by hand. Okay. Right. So this is just a trend to, to let you know what are you expected to see. Okay. And, and sometimes it can be really complex on where are you going to pick your elements to analyze. So in the real world, they will not say element H. 
in the real world, you are going to analyze where the maximum stress will be what? Acting. Are we clear? But we are not there yet. Okay, when you guys are doing my next course in 3A, you are there. Because that is what we call what? Failure what? Analysis. We're not going to do failure analysis. You guys are too green and still too young.